Hey, what's up? This is Frankie, man. Let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion. It may not necessarily be factual. Don't buy, sell, or hold a stock because of anything that I say in this video. Um, Don't vote yes. Don't vote no on the pro proposals coming up because of anything that I say in this video. Do your own DD. Let me say this, man. If being an ape means damn and handy with a group of individuals or a group of investors, that's advocating and, and or supporting me having all my shares taken away, then I got to, at this point, start reevaluating if I actually want to be an ape. If that's what being an ape is, that's just my, that's my opinion. And see, you know, and let me say this too, man. Look, first of all, if you look at my title of my videos, you can tell that I'm not an Adam Aaron Zealot. You can tell. I don't have unconditional love for Adam Aaron that he can do no wrong. I don't have that type of mindset. See what I'm saying? I simply base how I feel about Adam Aaron based on the job that he's doing. You see what I'm saying? So, man, if you are Adam Aaron Zealot, this is not the video for you. My channel is not the channel for you. I would suggest, man, that you pay attention to the title of my videos because I don't want you to get your ego hurt. I don't want you to get your feelings hurt. There's a whole lot of other videos out there, man. People that are zealots, they have unconditional love for Adam Aaron. I would suggest that you go watch their videos. You ain't got to worry about getting your feelings hurt. You ain't got to worry about getting your egos hurt because I'm not an Adam Aaron zealot. I, I, you know, I, I base how I feel about him and my opinions of him based on how he do his job. That's just me. And see, I see people, man, in the community, I see people arguing back and forth about what an ape is. This person an ape, this person not an ape. Here's what I will say. Adam Aaron is not an ape. Based on what an ape is, Adam Aaron ain't an ape. Adam Aaron is just a rich man that's surrounded by his colleagues. That's a group of one percenters that don't give a damn about retail investors. That's a fact. So if you want to debate somebody, go on Twitter and debate Adam Aaron about being a real ape. Because based on what an ape is, Adam Aaron, man, he's not an ape. You see what I'm saying? And in my opinion, man, Adam Aaron, like I said in my video yesterday, he has not done anything over the past two years that I can see that helps retail investors or the apes with any of the endeavors that they had, that they that we have or we got when it comes to AMC and the stock. He know exactly what we want. You see what I'm saying? But however, man, he has made he has made moves intentionally to make sure that himself to make sure that the board, to make sure that one percenters, as well as short sellers, as well as short sellers, make a lot of money, man. A lot of them have gotten rich off the decisions that Adam Aaron at, that Adam Aaron has made, as far as the stock is concerned. You see what I'm saying? It seems like the only people that's suffering financially from the decisions that he's making is retail investors. You see what I'm saying? And man, and if you can't see that, or for some reason, man, you refuse to see it, man, that's your problem. That's on you. You see what I'm saying, man? And it's going to take more than some of Adam Aaron's zealots or retail investors to do than just make, than just, than just give chess analogies or do a video and write some shit on a whiteboard. It's going to take more than it, man, you know, to get people, man, to like, trust, and respect Adam Aaron again. Because people judging him by his actions, not no analogies or not some shit that somebody write on a board in a video. They're judging Adam Aaron by his actions and what he's doing. And see, if people don't like, trust, or respect Adam Aaron at this point, man, he created that environment. He did it. You see what I'm saying? He created the problems that's leading people to feel the way that they feel about him. You see what I'm saying? And some of y'all say, well, you know, Adam Aaron, he's a good chess player. 
And by him being a good chess player, he's using those skills and those traits to help run AMC and help run the stock. And here's my thing, man. The short sellers, like I've said in previous other videos, the short sellers, man, have destroyed AMC without no opposition. No challenge at all coming from Adam Aaron. You see what I'm saying, man? The eight share, which he dropped, which the majority of us didn't want, that was a that was a total disaster. You said you see what I'm saying? And you know, it destroyed a lot of our portfolio, our eight share, the poor our portfolio. And as far as Adam Aaron, it was a complete failure. Because it was designed, man, to make him a lot of money. To raise him a lot of money, which he didn't raise as much money as he wanted to. But at the same time, Ontario Capital, which is a predatory short seller, which can they can give a damn about AMC in my opinion and retail investors, they're going to make a killing and they're going to make a lot of money. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, he dropped the eight share and man, we lost a lot of money from our portfolios. When he dropped that eight share and we didn't want it. And then he still didn't max out on how, on how much money he could have got to pay AMC, AMC debt on. So, man, that was a total disaster. You see what I'm saying? Then he watched the stock go from $72 to $5 as a result of predatory and predatory illegal nicky short. The stock went from $72 to $5. You see what I'm saying? And then, like I said, most people portfolios is down. A lot of people, not nice, but a lot of people portfolio is down 50 to 80%. And the company is still billions of dollars in debt. You see what I'm saying? And he has a, he has a difficult time trying to get the company to be profitable without diluting the hell out of the stock and then making and then when he do make decisions with the stock retail investors end up getting hurt financially you see what i'm saying you know so man for me those things man that's a problem and then i'm like if he depending on his chess skills to take amc to the next level and to do right by retail investors he need to rely on something else. That's just my opinion, man. And see, look, Adam Aaron, man, he already know. This man know that when he come up, and he, when he when he step out there and he say, well, look, we're going to do a 10 to 1 reverse split, reverse stock split, and we're going to take 90% of retail investor shares. Man, he already know that retail investors are not going to agree with that. He already know retail investors going to have a problem with it. He anticipated any reasonable and prudent retail investors will have an issue with that. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's only man Adam Aaron Zealots that's on some dumb shit acting like man. They don't understand why retail investors will have a problem with 90% of their shares being taken away from. It's asinine, man. He already know people going to have a problem with it. And the way I look at it, well, look, man, if it's something that he got to do, if it's something, man, that he's going to do, you see what I'm saying, man? It is what it is if he going to do it. I ain't got no control over it. But, man, I don't have to agree with it. And I'm not going to agree with it. You see what I'm saying? That's why That's why I'm voting no on everything. I'm not voting. I'm not voting yes at all. I'm voting no on everything. And see, I'm going to close with this. These Adam Aaron Zealots. And we are, and man, we all know. Why y'all want the yes vote? You know why you want the yes vote. But man, you Adam Aaron Zealots, y'all can go to the top of Mount Everest if you want to. You can scream out as you can scream as loud as you want to, telling people, man, to vote yes for the reverse stock split. You can give as many chess analogies, man, if you want to, as you want to, telling people, man, to, to vote for these proposals. You see what I'm saying? You can do that as, mu as much as you want to. I don't give a damn if you change your mind or not. If you want to vote, yes, man, vote, yes. 
I'm just not voting yes. You see what I'm saying? I'm voting no. And my thing is, man, like I said, look, I've already got my mind made up. The minute that I see that this meeting is really going to take place and I see what he's going to do, I've already made my decision, man, how I'm going to move that's going to be beneficial to me. Everybody else can do what they want to do. But I know, man, and when I find out he's really going to have this meeting and they're going to go through with all this bullshit, man, that they forcing on people, I know how I'm going to move. You see what I'm saying? I can say this much to you. I can promise you I'm not going to lose money. And I can promise you, man, I'm not going to be a bag hoe. People can do whatever they want to do. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to close with this once again. Hey, man, look, if Adam Aaron want people to like, if they if he want people to trust him, if he want people to respect him, then he need to do a better job. And at all Adam Aaron zealous, it's nothing that you can do to correct it. Nothing you can, I don't care what you say, you know, how much you try to intimidate people, it doesn't matter. If he want to be, if he want a better relationship with retail investors, like I said, if he want people to like, trust, and respect him, you know, he want people to be with him, that's something, man, that he got to do. You can't do it for him. You know, if he messing up, he destroying the stock, he's not doing what retail investors want them to do, they're going to be upset with him regardless of how many videos that you put out there or regardless of how many tweets that you do. But thank you for taking time out to watch the video, man. Have a nice day.